You're probably looking at the title on this one and say, this video doesn't tell me a dad gum thing. I didn't want to tell you anything in the title because I want you to get in and watch the video. I know some people who have already seen comments when I've discussed this in the past aren't going to like what I have to say. About a year ago, I attended my first Al-Anon meeting. While my brother was in hospice, uh, around Thanksgiving of 2014, he stated that there was someone in the room with him who ought to go to Al-Anon and then look my direction, kind of like that. I knew everybody else in that room were already in 12-step meetings, okay? I'd met them, and I, I knew that they were in AA or Al-Anon or something like that. And that's where I knew my brother from, okay? In fact, the Holton Al-Anon meeting owes its increase in size to the efforts of my brother. And he actually wanted to increase it once more. But actually, I became acquainted with 12 Steps a long, long time ago, back in 1992. Summer of 92, I was visiting a friend. They had two books on their shelf. My father, John Doe, who I now know as Father Ralph Faw. Uh, he was the first priest in Alcoholics Anonymous. Eventually, I did acquire first one, and then a few years later, the second of these books. Because I had read them, and there were some very good principles in these books. And I will share some of these as we go forward in our series. Remember, I started a series last week. Because what are we in? We're seeking serenity. And there are weaknesses in the 12 steps as they started originally in AA. Okay? And I will discuss this as I go through the steps. But I think the steps themselves are based on sound principles. And I'll discuss that as we work our way through. Don't want to discuss that here because this, as I said, is just an introduction. I have revised the 12 steps, which you'll readily find out. But I find that others have done this before me because I've been loaned or given books, which uh, they have uh, revised them. For instance, the word alcohol appears only in step number one in AA and Al-Anon. Okay. Not that they'll question you when you go to Al-Anon who your alcoholic is. Of course, the people <laughs> I met my first Al-Anon meeting knew who the alcoholic was. He used to go before he died. All right. He also was in AA. In any case, narcotics, I believe, uses the word drugs. Gamblers Anonymous, I'm sure, uses gambling. Television Anonymous, if it existed, would use the word television. And yes, television is an addiction. We will discuss addictions in more detail later. The reason there's no television is anonymous. Television is a socially acceptable addiction. It doesn't appear destructive. I think it's probably more destructive than alcohol in some respects, but that's another story. And so what is a good definition of the word addiction? It is a habit, usually a sinful habit, to which our life is devoted to, our life is given over to. The word addictus appears in a positive manner in the Roman breviary in several cases. Uh, saints were addicted to pious habits, or etc. So they used it in a good manner. It meant their life was totally given over to Almighty God. So in other words, basically they were addicted to God in a good manner. Well, if we give our life over to something, it controls our life. And in the case of a bad addiction, our life has gotten out of hand. Okay? Take a look at the practicing alcoholic. And I have to distinguish between practicing and recovering alcoholic because that's what they do. I mean, I know a guy who just celebrated 40 years of recovery. All right? He is much different than he probably was 40 years ago. I didn't know him back then. But just from what he said, okay? So a practicing alcoholic, his life is out of control. It's gotten out of hand. And so, though I'm proposing the 12 steps as a general staircase to heaven. Okay, 
most of us can't take the elevator, which I will discuss at some point uh, with uh, St. Teresa of Lisieux. In fact, I might go ahead and do that video before I publish this one, because I do have some time between when I'm actually preparing these videos. I like to be a little in advance, and when they'll be uh, actually published. So I'm proposing a simple 12-step program for sinners. We don't need to be anonymous because every one of us is a sinner. If we don't admit this, then we need to. We're in denial. And so, yes, I'm going to do a series on the 12 steps, and I know some, some of you are not going to like this series. I ask you to watch it as it unfolds, and give it a chance. And if you have objections, send them in. I want to know your specific objections and I can address them. Uh, because that's one of the purposes of these videos. They are somewhat interactive. It's not like we're having a video chat and recording it. I make a video, you send in a comment or a question, I reply. And with that, I want to do 12 steps to heaven. I believe St. Francis de Sales had a 12-step program. Uh, yeah, it's a two-volume set of books. I've read it. Quite good. And so, let's start walking towards heaven. God bless you all.